He's checked his passport and looked in the mirror and confirmed his identity as a Canadian. Here comes the world famous Dave Broadfoot. The question for today is, how can you tell whether a person is really a Canadian or not? I think you have to start with hockey. You're not really a Canadian if you don't feel some sympathy for Don Cherry, who's obliged to wear shirts with extra high collars because his head is sitting on top of a stick. <laughs> You're a real Canadian if you cling to the traditional belief that liquor stores should be owned by the government. So no matter how drunk you get, you're helping your country. <laughs> You're a bona fide Canadian if you're aware that Jean Chrétien has the same initials as Jesus Christ. <laughs> and there's another similarity. Jean Chrétien needs a miracle to bring about his resurrection. <laughs> you're a Canadian if you've ever stood transfixed by the awesome beauty of a snow-laden forest and been hit by a drunk on a snowmobile. <laughs> You're the real thing if you've been outraged by gas stations, not having pumps with instructions printed in Braille for the drivers who are blind. <laughs> You're a Canadian if, when the airport security person slides the beeping wand between your legs, you ask, what time do you get off work? <laughs> You're a real Canucker if you spend so much time in moose country when someone shows you a picture of Camila Parker Bowles, you say, is Prince Charles ever lucky? She's, <laughs> she's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> You're the genuine article if... While the rest of the world is hoping for a ceasefire in Iraq, you'll be happy seeing a ceasefire in Toronto. <laughs> You're a verified Canadian if a beautiful Manitoba woman has invited you into her $700 a night hotel suite, slipped out of her Giorgio Armani dress, let her imported silk slip slide to the floor, unhook the Victoria's Secret Diamonds trim bra, <laughs> shimmied out of her matching thong, then stands there in nothing but the woolen underwear she bought on sale at a farmer's co-op. <laughs> You are authentic if you've been at Harrison Hot Springs in B.C. and you assume the rotten egg smell is coming from the guy standing next to you. <laughs> and also, if you know the first Ontario settlers who went north of Sault Ste. Marie spoke baby talk, the town they created is still called Wawa. <laughs> You're the real thing if you know the Newfoundland motto, Le Mer nous ne prend pas jamais de terra firma, means there's no way we'll ever take shit from the mainland. <laughs> but in the end, it all comes back to hockey. You're a real Canadian if you can still remember where you were and what you were doing on that incredible, exciting day when Alan Eagleson went to prison. <laughs>